is it? It's bars. What's good, y'all? Coming back at y'all with another USC Fab video. In today's video, we're going to be covering distance and timing, basically. So one thing I noticed when I was playing online, I noticed this a lot. I noticed a lot of people that when they're up close, they'll throw one twos. So we're going to be looking at the strike damage to start off with. We're going to be looking at strikes from the head and below. So punches and kicks. So look. If you're close, you do not want to throw one twos. Look at Izzy's health meter in the top left. That's Pajeda throwing a one two. It does barely any damage. So if I was to step out and I was to step in and get my full arm extension, it does way more damage. You have to be aware when to throw certain strikes. Like if you're in close range, you do not want to throw the one two at all. Because one, you're more vulnerable on defense. You're more you're more liable to get hit. Pause. That was crazy, but <laughs> you're more liable to get hit. And at the same time, it does no damage, bro. But if you step in and you're really at a distance, if you're at a good enough distance to land a one-two effectively, it's going to do way more damage. So I want y'all to pay close attention to the top left corner in every fight because I'm about to show some online clips. But look, as I'm kicking, you can see it's not doing no damage at all. Now, if I just step out and then kick, it does way more damage. Now you can see in the top left, it's very effective. Now look, online, this is a prime example. I'm close. I'm not doing no damage. But as soon as I step out and come back in, the kicks are effective. Look, boom. This is a counter strike. You can counter it too. It's not just about being offensive. Now, this is for mainly pressure fighters, but I'm going to be showing you all the arm extension. As you can see, I just did it right there. What you want to do is you want to hold R1 and R2 if you're on PlayStation. That'll be RB and RT if you're on Xbox. And you'll just back up, bro. You'll control the distance every time. You can sidestep your opponent. You can do way more things. You have way more openings to counter and read your opponent and see what they're trying to do. Now, it is important that you know when to do this because if you do this too much, you'll lose stamina. As you can see, I barely did it right there and my stamina bar is being drained. So you got to make sure that you know when to do it. You want to do this arm extension mainly against pressure fighters. When Pajeda throws this leg kick right here, he whiffs. He barely touches me. And that only happened because I extended my arm. If I didn't extend my arm right there, he would have connected. Now, from the arm extension, you could throw a strike out of it. You can back up to just maintain control. It all depends on what you want to do and what's going on in the fight. Now we're going to be looking at the openings that this arm extension gives you. This mainly works if you're in divisions 1 through 10 because there's a lot of spammers and a lot of unskilled people who are in those divisions. So if you're in those divisions, man, I would very, I would very much advise you to use the arm extension. I done had fights, bro, where I didn't only had 10 strikes landed on me. Like, this shit really helps you with your defense, too. Now, I want y'all to pay close attention to all the strikes I'm throwing. This is a front kick. This is a counter after he whiffed. But pay attention to the strikes that I'm throwing after I use my arm extension. As you can see, everything that we talked about earlier, the jabs, the one-twos, and the kicks at distance, I'm all throwing those from a, a good distance, and I'm getting... A good amount of damage done on my opponent so make sure that you're picking your shots wisely and that you're using the arm extension to create distance like i said make sure you're not using the arm extension too much and make sure you're not holding it too long as you can see in the top right corner my stamina was just drained now i have to evade my opponent and keep making reads now this is very useful especially if you're fighting a boxer fighter type like song Yadong, for example because you know people are going to pressure and just throw one twos, hooks, uppercuts. They're just going to throw straight punches. Not going to be a lot of kicks. So make sure that you're using that arm extension to evade your opponent. And when your opponent whiffs a lot and they're not missing due to the arm extension, their stamina will get drained faster during the fight. So make sure you pay attention to that. Take advantage of it. Um, Win some fights, man. I hope this helped y'all. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bro.